Kitty. And I'm Jennifer. And we're the O'Neill Sisters. And we're going to show you how to make this beautiful bracelet. This project is fun and easy. We'll show you all the tools and materials you'll need, and then we'll take you through every step so you can make your own. Thanks for watching, and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos. Let's get started. To make this rainbow memory wire bracelet, we've got a bunch of faceted crystal beads and a rainbow of colors. And we're using eight of each. We have eight in red, an orange, eight in yellow, and green, blue, and purple. And our beads range in size from about four millimeters to 14 millimeters. And they're all different shapes and sizes. We're also gonna use eight faceted round beads in copper, and they're eight millimeters and 16 floret spacers in rose gold, and these are two millimeters by five millimeters. We're gonna put it all together on memory wire. Ours is gold, and it's 65 millimeters in diameter. For tools, we're using round nose pliers and memory wire cutters. Before we get started beading, what we like to do is lay out all of our beads in this sort of rainbow order. What we did is arrange our different colors together um, and then put in some spacers here and there and some of these large copper faceted beads. We went back and forth between the different sizes and shapes of the reds and then my orange and then I transitioned in yellow and went into these light greens and dark and on and on. Now what we want to do is cut our memory wire. And we're going to use three coils of memory wire. Memory wire is like a spring or a slinky. It holds its shape, which is really nice. We love it for this kind of project. So to measure and cut our memory wire, I'm finding the end. Here's my end. And I'm just going to count. That's my first coil. You see it goes around. That's one coil. There's two coils. And there's three coils. We're probably not going to end up with three fully beaded coils, but we want to go ahead and cut three so that we've got some room for our to twist a loop in the end. So now I'm going to take my memory wire cutters and these are a dream to use because they cut right through memory wire with ease. You can also use heavy duty wire cutters, but these make it so easy I barely have to press. Now what we want to do is twist a little loop into one end of our memory wire using our round nose pliers and that's going to keep all of our beads from sliding off. So I've got my round nose pliers here. I'm going to grasp the end kind of a little bit toward the end but not the very end of my round nose pliers and I'm going to rotate partially then I'm going to reposition my pliers because I can't go all the way around and rotate again and it really takes a little bit of elbow grease because the memory wire is so stiff so you just keep rotating and kind of repositioning like that and twist again until the wire um, touches the other wire. And if you overlap a little bit, you can always trim that at the end. And now we're ready to get started beading. So what I'm going to do is find the end of my mem the other end of my memory wire. And it gets sort of twisted on itself, but once you get started beading, you'll be able to keep track of where you are. So I'm going to start at this end with the red and go around and then I just made room for my hands so you can see what I'm doing and then I'll go on to my greens and my blues and my sort of cobalty purples. When we picked out our beads what we did is kind of looked through old projects beads that were just sort of left over you know how you you'll lay out beads for a project and you'll end up with like one extra red faceted rondel like this or you know a couple extra spacers or blue beads or whatever and they end up being, you know, you don't want to throw them out. I mean, they're fantastic beads that you loved enough to make a project out of. So what we did was we sort of gathered those up and laid them all out and then arranged them in this rainbow order. And it was kind of fun. Um, it means, you know, you really don't have to go to the store, go to the bead store or your craft store to get beads. Although we noticed that we didn't really have that many orange or yellows. So, you, you know, we ended up adding in a couple, you'll see when we get there, but we added in this carnelian, which is actually a gemstone. But the rest of our beads are all faceted crystals. And we think using all the same type of bead gives it a sort of unified look. 
here's one of our copper faceted beads and we added in the copper beads along with the spacers just to give it a little shine and also to break up the rainbow-ness of the rainbow bracelet so it's not you know too on the nose rainbow makes it look a little more designer. I'm just going to slide these beads around out of my way because they're in my way a little bit and keep beading and you can see we chose all different bead shapes this is a kind of a little donut shape. This is another faceted round bead and this really hot yellow. I love it. And this is a duplicate of that donut shape. We have some beads repeated throughout the bracelet, but what we did was kind of mix them up. So sometimes they're next to each other and sometimes they're not. The idea is just to have the same general color story together and have it transition into the next color. So like this, these yellows are going to transition into very light greens and from there we'll go into dark green and blue. Now to my greens and blues, I'm going to move them over to this side so that I can get to them a little bit easier. And you really could do um, a color merge like this, not the whole rainbow, you could do like these beautiful greens into the blues just as a separate bracelet like that would be that could be really gorgeous or do maybe yellows to red and in that case you could stack them you could do this sort of green to to blue to purple on one set of uh, coiled memory wire like in one bracelet and then you could make a separate coil that's the yellow to green I don't know it's just fun You're, the idea is just to have fun with this there now I can reach these a little bit better but you see just having this separate like this could be one really interesting let me swoop them around here that could be one single memory wire bracelet and this could be another one just if you'd like them to be separate now I can start feeding on my greens and you could do this I mean if you have them you could do this in gemstones Again, the idea is if you use the beads that kind of have the same finish or general look to them, they seem to go together better than if it's a total hodgepodge. We thought about mixing in um, pearls with this instead of the metal. That's sort of another way that you could go. You could play with what your spacers and your non-rainbow beads are um, just to mix things up. It would have a very different look. We love using memory wire because it has no clasp, which means it's super easy to make a memory wire bracelet. And also it tends to fit just about anyone. I mean, they can rotate it on to their wrist pretty easily. It's kind of adjustable just automatically. So it makes it a really nice gift for anybody. Plus it's sort of ageless. Like I, I have plenty of memory wire bracelets. Um, I have older friends that do as well, and I also have um, some, you know, friends with teenage kids that wear them too. So it's kind of an ageless thing, which I think is nice. So now the joy of the memory wire is that I put on these last couple beads, and then I don't need to put tape or anything on the end because my beads are not going to slide off because I'm going to slide them all the way down my bracelet like that. And now this is my end. Look at that, that looks so great. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold my beads so that they're all touching each other. I don't want a lot of slack in here. So I'm gonna hold that tight. And I wanna measure about a quarter of an inch and then cut my memory wire using my memory wire cutters again. I'm gonna eyeball a quarter of an inch, but it's probably about like that. Here are my round nose pliers, and I'm going to grasp the end of my memory wire just like I did before, and I'm going to rotate like that. And you'll see I've got a little bit of a loop. I'm going to grasp again and rotate again. And like I said, you'll have to use a little bit of elbow grease and just keep rotating until your memory wire touches, that little loop touches. I'm going to use my round nose pliers to straighten my loop a little bit so that it's more perpendicular to my memory wire like that. I'm going to do that on the other end as well. That's just so because it got a little sideways. And you can see 
our beautiful rainbow memory wire bracelet that goes from red to yellow to green and to blue. And to put it on, you can just slide it on like that, or you can always coil it on. It's up to you.